why is it so cold in here, Jonas? Wait, wait, look, look on the table. It's, it's chilling rain. Oh, it's making the room so cold. Let's go and sit down. Yeah, let's oh. sit down. Oh. 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 Let's take a look at these. And welcome oh. to JL Pokemon. And welcome to our brand new opening. And in this week's opening, we'll be opening and playing Chilling Rain, the newest expansion to the Pokemon TCG. And we have four packs in these things, three extra packs, so which means that there's a total yep. of 14 packs between us to open, and we are super excited about this, but before we get into it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring, ring the, the bell, bell. Ding -a -ding -a -ding -a -ding -a -ding -a -ding so you get notified when new videos get dropped. Also make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at JL underscore PKMN. That is right, and uh, that's pretty much all there is. And we're, we're going to be doing a battle and all that, and we're going to be opening these packs, so I'm really excited about this. And um, last time, Battle Styles got a nice bit of views, so uh, it was a good idea, and I think we had a lot of fun making it. So uh, how about we get right into this, catch you guys in a second when we open up these packs. And when we have our winter jackets off. Yeah. Alright guys, before we get into our packs, we have to do the coin flip, and uh, join us heads, I'm Tails, so let's see who like opens usual. their packs first. It is Tails! Aww. Yes! It's okay because uh, Lewis will be going opening the first pack, then I'll be opening the second, then him third, then me fourth. Yeah. And alternate. So, like that. how about I get this pin? And, uh, this. It's much easier just to open it like this, you know. Says the one who doesn't have it open yet. <laughs> Let's have it open. I feel like they should they should really should put a mini poster in here. Again, it's just blank. White. I want to squash my finger around that. Oh, All right. Yeah, the promos are uh, Inteleon, uh, Cinderace, Cinderace, Pissimian, and Cresselia. So I'm I want Cresselia. Oh, I already opened the thing. All right. So how about we get into this box and let's see what promo I can get. I'm hoping for Cresselia, but I'm not 100 sure what I'm getting. And it's. Oh, it looks like it's Passimian, but that is completely fine because that is a sick looking rapid strike card and it has, look at that, Drizzile in the background. That looks so cool. I and it has an ability? I found the cards in the set. Oh, yeah. It has an ability that says uh, your rapid strike Pokemon do 30 more damage to your Pokemon V and GXs onto your opponent's bench. So that's very awesome. Yeah. And uh, we got them. We got. Oh wait, it's Moltres. Oh yeah, I thought it was Zapdos. And uh, fling for a fighting. This uh, does 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. No, to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Very nice. Very nice. So we have Moltres, Articuno, Shadow Rider, Ice Rider. Oh, we got all of them. Yep. All right. Oh, I wait. gotta get into my. My. Are you gonna give away the code? Uh. I am. Uh, might as well. There you go, there's the code. Mm -hmm. And I was about to do four from the back there, but. <laughs> uh, Passimian, Karina's Focus, Bruno, Bruno. Sonia, Sobble. Oh, that's oh, cool. Nice. That's I, got the I got the Inteleons. Drizzile. Oh, oh, let's go. That's sick artwork. Inteleon, it's the same ability as uh, Decidueye GX, so that's crazy good. Uh, it allows yeah. you to put on two damage counters to one of your opponent's Pokemon. And I got two of those. Glimwood Tangle, Ooh, Level Ball, Sonia, another Karina's Focus, Pokey Kid, Rapid Strike Energy, nice. Diglett, 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 Diglett. Diglett. Doug Trio. Oh, that's a cool and Doug Trio. Flip three coins and take a 60 damage for each heads. Mm -hmm. oh. all right. if, if any of them are heads, if all of them are heads, your opponent's your your poem can't do damage to you. Okay, so that's very that's interesting. Cool. All right, let's get into my box. No, I, I guess. open my pack. No. Oh, okay, fine. You can get in. Okay. You can get into your box. All right, let's see what we got here. I'll Please, either Cresselia. I want Inteleon. You got Inteleon. Yes. Oh. oh nice. Oh, that's a cool art. That looks again. The, that's really cool looking. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it is. There's five pack artworks. Oh, really? So I got that. Ice Calyrex. Zapdos. Zapdos. Moltres and Articuno. I got the three legendary birds. That's nice. And now, why does it look so small? Because it's only like 20 cards. Oh, yeah. Alright, four from the back. <laughs> no, I'm good. Yeah. Uh, you're, you got the, definitely got the better promo, I think. Yes. So, yeah, here is the code card. Very mm -hmm. nice. And now we got Intellion. That's sick. Research. Karina's Focus. Bruno. Sobble, 
Sabo, Sabo, Bro, you even Drizzile, got the, you even Drizzile, got the line. Drizzile, Italian, <laughs> Italian, Glenwood Tangle, Level Ball, Sonia, Premium Focus, Stop Pokemon flicking kit, the cards. Rapture we got the same Energy, kit. We got the same Diglett, kit. Diglett, Diglett, and then two Doug Trio. Doug Trio. So you got the but same kit as got, me, just no. a different prime. Uh, yeah, I got Italian. I hear like mine's better here. All right, so how about I get into my first pack, which is Ice Rider Calyrex. So I'm gonna start with my Calyrex too. This is this is a really awesome set, and I'm so happy a new set has finally come our Lewis, way. The cards are so low in this pack. Code. The cards are so low in this pack here. I don't know why. Oh, oh, oh no! What did I'm you do there? This pack trick here. Um, Okay, steel. Uh, steel energy. Oh, Cybold. Choose up the two Rack Strike Pokemon and heal 60 damage from each of them. Curlia. Agatha, move up to three damage counters from your active Pokemon to your opponent's active Pokemon. That's pretty good. Lapras, Deerling, Galarian Slowpoke, Coughing, Yamask, Swirlix, Draining Kiss. Going into a Galarian, Galarian Surfetched. Surfetched. That is a That's sick cool. looking card. All right, let's get into my first pack here, which of the Ice Rider Calyrex here. Wow, that is very, these are some very awesome looking cards. Oh, yeah. you're starting with the Slowpoke. Not necessarily, I'm starting with an energy, but okay. All right, oh, you got it. Oh, yeah, give away the cat. Boom. Four from the back to, to the, the front. front. Let's see what you can get out of this. And I'm hoping to look at those new trainers. Fire. Crushing, Crushing gloves. gloves. Curlia. Justified gloves. Oh, wow. I must really like this pack must really like gloves. Glarian Slope of Clobopus. Marie. Stop flicking the cards. Ralts. Cats from Cats rainy, rainy form. form. Oh, I might use that in my deck. Oh, yeah. more stadium cards. Flip it up. This card. Brawly. Brawly. Search your deck for up to three rap basic Rapposite Pokemon and put them on your bench. Volcarona. Nice. Yeah, I'll get nice some, pack. I'll put that on my side. Because so how about I get into my next pack, which is Shadow Rider Calyrex. <laughs> Code. Oh. Uh, four from the back. Let's see what I can get out of this. Let me see what that cast form does. I didn't read it. Psychic Energy. Pearlia. Justified Gloves. Weeding Gloves. Sneasel. Snover. Blitzel, Ghastly, Coffin, Kakuna going into a Hollow Zerud. Very nice. Too bad you don't have any grass types in your deck. Yeah, I know. Um, I think I'm gonna get into the Articuno next. Hit, hit the camera there. My bad, my bad. All right, here we go. Hopefully we can finally get a V. Yeah, I know. Oh, maybe you will. Yep. It's the coat guard. Very nice. Yep. First come, first serve. Or from the back. All right. Let's see what you can get out of this. To the front. All the V's in this are really cool looking. Water stuff. energy. Oh. Oh, I see something. Yep. Verlipede. Cybold. Cybold. Laron. Castform. Cast Sunny form. Castform. Cast form. Letty Ba. Golette. Clobopus. Rugged, Rugged Helmet. Helmet. And. I don't know what that is. Blissey! Whenever you attach an energy card from your hand, it recovers from all special conditions. Oh wow. This attack is 30 more damage for each energy attached to this Pokemon. If you did any damage with this attack, you may attach up to three energy cards from your discard pile to this Pokemon. I'm gonna put that in a perfect trip for now. Oh no, you can use that in your deck. I so am. might as well sleep it out. No, not right now. We'll do that later. For now, it's going in a perfect trip. That is so far, really good I for a think period. I'm doing good. Oh, wait, these are my Whenever you attach. What the heck? What? This is insane for a. Uh, for 250 HP as well. Jeez. That is insane for a period. I got water energy too. Yeah, oh, very nice. I'm gonna use that. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Oh, that's stupid. That's okay. Don't forget, guys, we do have three packs at the end. Alright, so. I'm gonna get you to the camera there, but okay. That's alright. And let's see what I can get out of this. Four from the back. So far, I've gotten the better pulse here with Blissey Fire. B. Flannery. Oh, why Old oh. Cemetery. Do you have to do you have to put it on yep. my Blissey? Steeny. I'm moving it. Snow Runt. Bound Sweet. Cub Foo. 
Inke. Inke. Diglett. Diglett. Oh, you're gonna use that? Tapu Fini. I feel like that'd be good for me. And yeah. Golurk. That's not bad. The Tapu Fini, I feel like you're gonna use. Yeah. So let's get into my next pack of Moltres here. And your last pack is Moltres. So why don't we both have, actually, we're gonna do the Zapdos. We'll both have our last pack of Moltres. Okay. Well, not I really. really want Galarian Zapdos V, because I would destroy Jonas if I had Galarian Zapdos V. Yeah. Ooh. Another what are you one. Getting at? Here you go. Okay, let's see what you're getting. Psychic. Expedition uniform. Ooh, very cool. Old Cemetery. Reboot. Reboot. Cast from Snowy form. Very cool. Is it the same thing as the water? No. Yeah. Nope. The ability is. Oh yeah. He did. He team. Yeah. Atena. Atena. Aran. Ralts. Ralts. <coughs> oh my. Venipede. Yamask. Yeah, and. Yamask. Yeah, oh, it's a hollow. It's a hollow. Hollow. Porygon Z. Z. You didn't even get Porygon two or Porygon. Hmm. So, how about we get into my final pack, which is Moltres, mm -hmm. and hoping for at least a V out of this would be super awesome, and maybe it is. Okay. I don't know. Give away the code. Four from the back. Okay, I think we got something. Can't tell. I think we it's did. It's hard to tell. Fighting. Avery. Avery. Oh, we finally Flaffy. got Flaffy. Clara. Oh, we got both of them. Delibird. Delibird. Galarian Farfetch'd. Oh. Porygon. Too bad that. Heracross. Oh. Sobble. Porygon Z reverse going into a fire type. Oh. Blaziken V. Oh, that was awesome. Don't awful. think it's as good as my V, but... I don't don't think so, but I can do 210 damage. Really? So, yeah. I got a V out of this, so that's very awesome. I'm Bliss. Sleep my Blissey is really good. Okay. I can do a max to infinity uh, up to... How much is, like, 50... Alright, last pack! Energies? Yep. Did I give this away? If uh, I didn't... Uh, no, I don't here know. we go. Who knows? I think you did. Now starting off with a score bunny. Aw. It's fine, I did get the blissey. Hopefully, now I'm just looking for some good trainers for this, because I don't have very many good ones. Steel. Steeny. Laron. Rugged helmet. Score bunny. Oh, that's a cool score bunny. Yeah, it is. Shuppet. Cubfu. Blitzel, Ooh, Quillfish, Quillfish, Slurpuff, Puff, and Scoilipede non hollow Here, Rare. These are yours. They are? Yeah. Alright, so how about we get into our next three packs now in a second. These are the cards that we will be using for our deck. Mm -hmm. And we have these three extra packs that we're going to open I think right I'll start now. this time. Because right. you ended off. No, I ended no, off. No, you ended off, so I'll oh. open first. What? I'll open first. Okay. So, getting into my first pack. What, does that work? Isn't it dark colors? Oops. Code. Four in the back. Let's see what we can get. Grass. Grass. Brawly. I want a place of those. Haunter. Celio. Quillfish. Ralts. Heracross. Castform. Sunny form. Sfeel. So we need to an Avery reverse. Draw three cards. If you drew any cards in this way, your opponent discards Pokemon from their bench until they have three. Wow, that's pretty good. Angelore. Angelore. Oh, right. uh, don't remember, this is not cards that we can use. This is not cards we can use, so. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get into my Articuno pack artwork. Well, this is all the Calyrexes. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, okay. Jonas is starting off a bit better than me on his extra packs. I feel like I've gotten better pulls here. Nah, Blissey and Blaziken are pretty equal. But Blissey's better. Yeah, for playability. Water. Expedition Uniform. Hatrum. Hatrum. Flaffy. Hatina. Aeron. Ralts. Venipede. What are you getting out of this? I don't, I see don't it. know. I think it's hollow. With a Weedle. And oh, it's a V. It's a V. Metagross V. Very nice. I'm gonna put that in the park set this time. Yeah. Just can't use that on my dad. Yeah, my dad used to run Metagross GX actually, so that's very cool. Alright. Um, yes. 
we are brothers. So how about I get into my next pack, which is Shadow Rider Calyrex. It's very awesome. All right, so we got the uh, pack out, and ooh, looks like a white and green code. And there you go, there's the code. And four from the back, one, two, three, four. Let's see what we can get out of this. Starting off with a Darkness Energy, Celio, mm -hmm. Haunter, Doctor. Hmm. Draw two cards if your opponent's active Pokemon is a VMAX. Draw two. Well, that's not gonna do anything that's not gonna in do this. Me, yeah. Golet, Deerling, Sneasel. No, oh, look at the bomb snow in the background. It's really cool. Uh, Galarian Farfetch. Ah, uh, too bad you didn't get Fur that. Oh, single, single strike, strike Urshifu, Urshifu reverse. Going into a rapid, rapid strike, strike Urshifu, Urshifu reverse. Oh, that, that's, that's not a reverse. Really good... That is not a reverse. Oh, sorry, hollow. And uh, that is an amazing attack right there yeah. on both of them. If yeah. this Pokemon has any damage counters on it, this deck does 100 more damage. Yeah, put this in the pile of uh, cards that we didn't really need. Yep. Yeah, 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 okay. On to my next racks, which is Arnakuno again. Mm hmm. Let's see what you can get out of this. This is a lot easier. And, oh. It seems like I'll be getting something, another thing. Well, if you get something good, then I'm hoping I, my last pack is something good. Here Who we go. these Four right here? the back. Oh, these are mine. And Flip. Dark. Celio. Celio. Clara. Haunter. Sophia. Uh, Swirlix. Galarian Yamask. Castform. Cast form. A bomb snow. snow. It's a hollow. Looks like it, that's uh, Urshifu. Is it? Yep. Yeah. Urshifu. It's not hollow. bad. Very nice. It's pretty cool. So how about we Let's put it over? In with... Let's get into your last pack. My last pack of last pack ice? magic and three times a charm. Ice Rider Calyrex. This time it's actually three times a charm. Right. Oh. And it's. Aww. <laughs> Green coat. Looks like I've gotten better pulls than this opening, Lewis. Those won't be available to be even redeemed until the set comes out, so you're gonna have to come back. Two weeks time. Mm -hmm. uh, lightning energy. Curlia. Fog crystal. Surge deck first psychic Pokemon and, or basic energy. Psychic energy reveal it into your hand. Very nice. Brawly. Snover. Yan Mask. Coffee. Shuppet, Squobit, Clavipus going into a Galarian, Farfetch'd, and non hollow. Surfetched. Surfetched, or whatever. Let's get into my last pack. Can I get some last pack magic? And three times a charm. Let's see. Nope, apparently I didn't. That's alright. It's alright, I did get that Metagross, which I can't even use. Yep. I think, I think you're gonna win with that Blissey. Unless I get really lucky. And I don't get it up. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Grass. Crumble. Ooh. Scroll of piercing. That's pretty cool. That's very awesome. Melony. Melony. Attach a water. Ah, oh, I wish I got that. That looks like uh, it's very similar to Welder. So maybe Water type will come. Uh, will overtake Cast Welder. Form. Lady Ba. Golette. Clavopus, Cast Form, Drizzle Reverse. Reverse, and Amphorus Non Hollow Rare. Am I allowed to use that Drizzle instead of the regular Drizzle? Nope. Same you thing. didn't get it. It is the same thing, though. You didn't get it. But it's and insane. that's it for the opening. So, how about we get into our deck making? We'll catch you guys in a sec when our decks are built. All right, guys, time to go through our deck. I think my deck is pretty good. And first off, we have a four line of Sobble. Sorry, the glare is a bit weird. Uh, but those are four Sobble here, there. Now you can see them. Uh, and we also have uh, three Drizzile, two Inteleon, a Tapu Fini, Diglett, three Diglett, two Dark Trio, Galarian Farfetch'd, Galarian Surfetch'd, Lapras, Passimian, Blaziken V, uh, Level Ball, Agatha, Bruno, Flannery, two Karina's Focus, a Cybolt, Sonia, Sonia, Rapid Strike Energy, uh, that looks to be four Fire, and uh, six Fighting. So, that's my deck. All right, on to my deck. We're gonna start from here. We have Blissey V. We have a cast form, snowy form, cast form, water form, cast form, cast form, uh, cast form, sunny form, 
we have a three, 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 uh, three line of Inteleons, two rugged helmets, which is pretty good. If this Pokemon is attached, if this card, if, ugh. If the Pokemon this card is attached to is in the active swap and damaged by your opponent's Pokemon, even if it's knocked out, put an energy attached to the attacking Pokemon into your opponent's hand. That's why I have that card. It is pretty good. And yeah, I have... Uh, where, how many Cybolds do I have? I have one Cybold. I have... How many Brawlies? I have one Brawly. One Level Ball. Greatest Focus. I have... Two Karina's Focus, a Poke Kid, Rapid Strike Energy, Pokemon's Research, Professor's Research, sorry, Bruno, Old Cemetery, Glimwood Tangle. I have three Fire. I have three, six, seven Water, and three Fighting. All right, so how about we get right into our battle? We'll catch after you guys, we clean up a little. After we clean up a little. Uh, we'll catch you guys in a second. Hello everyone, welcome to the second ever official JL Pokemon pre-release uh, voiceover. So uh, let's go coin flip and it is Tails, which means I think Jonas will be going uh, first. So that is very cool. And uh, I'm here with the Urshifu sleeves and Jonas is with the Shining Fates sleeves. So don't, don't get that confused. And drawing our seven cards, I got a Drizzile in there I see. And uh, looks to be like a Sobble. I got two Sobbles there. Very nice. So just cutting Jonas' deck. I believe I will put the Sobble out first. No, it is actually going to be uh, Farfetch'd. Very interesting. And I did not quite see what Jonas was putting out. It might be a cast form. We'll see now in a second. Jonas has two of those. Uh, helmet cards. I'm not. I don't remember what they're called, but I know what they do. Uh, it was a class form, actually. The uh, the helmet uh, allows makes it so that when you get attacked, um, your opponent puts an energy into their hand attached to the Pokemon. Very interesting. Okay, so Jonas attaches a water and attaches the helmet, and just passes the turn for that. I think and yes okay it looks like I draw a fire type energy I'm attaching to the uh, farfetch and I'm doing 40 damage because of weakness and I'm putting that energy straight back into my hand so 40 damage which means I am knocking him out next turn but he does get the solid off the top deck which means that I will not be able to win next turn he has a Bruno's hand so even if I do knock him out he gets a fresh seven cards that was very good. It looks like he attached the other helmet to the Sobble and Karina's focus is for three cards. Let's see what we can get out of this. Another Sobble. Hmm. And uh, looks like it might be just a pass of the turn again with Jonas. And I draw, I'm not sure what I drew there. It looks to be like a Lapras, which I'm putting straight on the bench. I also have a Drizzile, and I do see a Rapid Strike Energy in my hand. So that is, I do get the knockout on the cast form, so that is nice. And that energy goes straight back into my hand. So Jonas uh, leads with the Sobble, and he does have Drizzile in his hand. So he will probably evolve. I don't know. We're just discussing whether or not which one to lay it on. So it looks like he lays it on the benched Sobble, so that is very interesting. And... Maybe it will just be another pass of the turn, or it will be a Bruno from Jonas. Uh, like I was saying before, he can shuffle his hand into his deck and draw a fresh seven cards because I did knock out that cast form last turn. So that is very awesome. But let's see what he gets out of this fresh seven cards. Looks to be like a water energy. He got another Drizzile, the cast form, sunny form. So let's see what he's going to do from here on out. He's searching his deck with the Sobble attack, and he thinks he can grab Blissey, but it can actually not because it's only Rapid Strike Pokemon. And uh, looks like he's just going to go ahead and pick um, nothing. He just shuffles his deck right up. So going on to my turn, I draw my card. Looks to be like an Agatha, I do believe, which allows you to move uh, three damage counters. 
And that, and that Inteleon is super nice. I love that Inteleon. Same ability as Decidueye GX. And Decidueye GX saw a lot of play in the 2017 World Championships along with Forest of Giant Plants. Obviously, there is no Forest of Giant Plants in this format, which would have made Inteleon absolutely insane because it is only a one prizer. But uh, that's what caused... Um, that's what caused uh, the banning of Force of Giant Plants around that time was Decidueye and Vileplume. That's very interesting. One energy on the Sobble. I do believe he has another Drizzile in his hand, which he can evolve, but will he do it? I'm not 100% sure. So I'm just debating whether or not to attach to the Surfetch, the Gar, the Garfetch, sorry. And it looks like I do, and I'm putting that energy right back into my hand. Oh, Jonas gets the Inteleon off the top deck. Let's see what he can do. Evolves into Drizzile. Sucks for me because... Um, because that avoids the knockout now next turn. So, hmm. Looks like I do have a Bruno on my hand. So... That's good next turn. Draw for turn. Looks to be like that's a Dugtrio. I do not have Diglett out. But let's see what I do after this. I'm just debating whether or not to attach to the Farfetch, and I do. Just getting that extra 20 off. Not horrible. So 20 damage to the Inteleon this time. Or not. Leaving Jonas at 10 HP. I use Bruno, but not for the several set the not for the seven option, but for the four option because I do not have that much. I do actually remember this point in the game. I do draw a Flannery. I do know that. Just fumbled a few cards right there. Okay, just shuffling it up. Let's see what I can get out of this. And I do believe that is the Flannery right there and level ball. Diglett on the bench. And I'm just <laughs> voice crack and I'm just uh, debating on whether or not to pass or do what something I don't know I've already used my ability on my Inteleon so I think my best bet is just to attack which I do not quite knockout 10 HP sadly but I remember now I do bring up the Diglett I'm pretty sure when he knocks out this, because he does only have 10 HP, but he does evolve into the Inteleon. That means he is now putting 40 damage on my Pokemon per turn, so that is nasty. That hurts a lot. So let's see what he can do with this. I do believe that he forgets to use his abilities. Oh, no, he doesn't. And I'm not sure what's happening right now. Oh, it's we're talking about his abilities, which I'm pretty sure he already used the ability on the benched Inteleon. And that's what we're saying. So we're just getting this sorted out right now. And there we go. So that he, uh, Jonas just passes his turn. So let's see what happens. Sorry for the uh, slow commentary here. Not much is happening. just enjoy the music oh and looks like I do attach to uh, Surfetch I use level ball get myself another Sobble let's see what I can find in here hi guys I'm also here too so don't forget that Jonas is also part of this 
Yeah, Jonas just joined the uh, the posse back here. So uh, yeah, that's very awesome. So let's see what I can do with this. I do still have the Galarian Farfetch'd in the active. After all that time, I do use Karina's Focus, getting myself three cards. And uh, Diglett is very nice because uh, it does make you help you prevent damage done to it because it's uh, that's very awesome. And uh, I just wanted, to, if you are watching the entire video, I just wanted to say, um, leave a comment down below saying, Lewis is cool if you stayed this far in and you're actually watching this part of the video. So if you see this part, just leave a comment saying Lewis is cool. And that way I would know that uh, you guys watched this far into the video. So that's very awesome. All right, looks like Jonas attached to his Inteleon. And that finally knocks out my Farfetch. Looks like I will bring up... I'm not sure. It looks like I bring up Lapras. Oh, guess not. This is a tough decision for me. Right, Jonas forgot to take his prize card. <laughs> and he takes it right now. All right, let's see what I decide to do. I do bring up Diglett. Diglett, big man Diglett coming up. And he just knocks that. Which means he is taking two prize cards, which is very sad on my end. I draw Sonia, attached to Diglett, and I do 10 damage. Oh no, I do, I, right, I use my ability which leaves him at 10 HP, which means I will knock him out with my Diglett. That is very nice. I grab a fire and a fighting energy from my deck. I don't know why I forgot what a fighting energy was called. Fun fact, ground, rock, and fighting types are all fighting types in the TCG, so that's very awesome. And I flip tails means Jonas will be able to attack me next turn. And my prize card was another fighting energy, so that's very interesting. And I put the energy back into my hand. He is putting Glimwood Tangle out, which means I do get another chance to uh, prevent damage done to me, which is very cool. Jonas is looking for that final fire energy to attach to his cast form to do 150 damage. That is very cool and awesome. So let's see what I do with this. Jonas puts 20 damage onto me and he passes for the turn. Uh, like I drew another energy. Um, I'm debating on whether or not I should use Flannery, but I don't, I don't think. I think my best bet would be to use Dig, and if I don't get heads, then I can use the extra point flip on Glimwood Tangle. That's very awesome. All right, let's see what I do. Uh, looks like I'm doing 20 damage to the Benched Inteleon. Attach the Fighting Energy and I flip a coin and it is Tails, but I do get... Oh no, I forgot to flip again for the Glimwood Tangle. That is a shame. And that was not very good. Looks like he does realize that uh, Cast Form has free retreat. So that's very awesome. He brings up the active. He brings up the Inteleon, which means I will get knocked out. But if I had to flip heads on the Glimwood, I would not be taking damage right now. So that is very sad. All right, I am bringing up the Inteleon. Well, let's see what I can do with this. He's not knocking me out next turn, so... Antelion is fairly safe right now. So I do another 20 to the cast form. And... Not sure what I'm doing right now. I'm just probably thinking on my game plan. Seeing what I can do. I do have this Cyabolt in my hand which allows me to heal 60. So uh, let's see 
what I do. I do use the Flannery to get rid of the... Ooh, very nice. Get rid of the special energy. So... I don't think... Now that I think of it, I don't think Flannery... Does Flannery work on special energy or does it work on tools? I don't know. I might have messed that up there. But if so, I don't think it really matters because he had another energy in his hand to pay the cost anyways. I am only at 40 HP, but now is my chance to use the Cybold next turn. Looks like Jonas uses Brawly, which is actually really awesome. Here's my chance to talk about Brawly. Allows you to search your deck for three Rapid Strike Pokemon and put them into your hand. That is insane for a deck like Rapid Strike Urshifu, which is still relevant and still amazing. And, um just different rapid strike decks which is very awesome it looks like i do end up playing the cyborg which puts me at 40 hp instead of having 40 hp remaining which i do believe i did the math wrong if i was at 40 hp i would have been at 110 which means i would have had 50 hp left but i don't think it matters and it, i do believe that i accidentally played karina's focus and cyborg in the same turn so I do just put those two cards back on top of the deck. And I think I'm in, Jonas is in a pickle right now. If he doesn't get the fire type energy off the top deck with a uh, cast form, because I just knocked out his Inteleon. Um, oh, and it looks like it is a Blissey. So maybe he will come back in this game because cast form does have free retreat. So it looks like he will be bringing up Blissey. And let's see who can win this game. If he does not knock me out with Blissey, I will take the game with the 20 damage off the ability on my Inteleon. So I think that might be game right now because Jonas is only doing 40 damage. So, uh, and that would only make me at technically at 100, but um, since I messed up, no, it, only, it would mean me at 90, but since I messed up, it would only leave me at 40. But I don't think it then, like I said, it wasn't a huge difference that I made before with the damage. So I do believe that that is game. And there's the shake of the hand, and my last prize card was Tapu Fini. So that is it for game one. I will catch you guys in the next game. And uh, into game two. Um, this is a very awesome game, and uh, I'll be Jonas will be going uh, second, I do believe, because he did lose. So let's see what I can get out of this. Looks like I will be starting with Sobble. Jonas will be starting with Blissey V. Oh my, I remember this game. Um, so four prize cards are laid down for me, and it uh, looks like my hand is full of energies. So that is very nice. Uh, Jonas is also starting with a Sobble and a Cast Form, so that is very nice. And uh, I will be drawing for my turn. Looks like I'll be attaching a Fighting Energy onto Sobble and just passing because I can't really do anything. Jonas did get a top deck on a research, so he might just might as well use that, but he'll probably use Level Ball first. So he'll just search his deck out for something. Not sure what it is. Looks to be like it's sunny form, cast form. So let's see what he can do with this. He will research and he will put that water energy into his discard, which means that will work with Blissey's attack. So there we go. Fresh seven cards into his hand. Bruno, and he did get a stadium card. So let's see what Jonas can do. And uh, I draw my top deck, just a regular Pokemon on a trainer. I'm really stuck in top deck mode right now, so I'm just gonna have to attach the Sobble and hope for the best. And I do, I could search my deck for uh, Blaziken, but I don't actually opt for that because of uh, obvious reasons i don't want jonas taking two prize cards in one turn and i just realized that jonas has six prize cards laid down so <laughs> that is pretty funny i think he does fix that in a second and he does draw that helmet card and he's touching that right onto blissey once again not sure what the name is but something along the lines of 
Helmet, something helmet. And just pass the turn to me. Looks like Jonas is going to play Bruno. Shuffling his hand into his deck. And uh, drawing four. So let's see what he can do after this. Catches the helmet to cast form. Gets the Drizzile out. And just knocks out my uh, my Sobble. So that is a very easy knockout for him. Looks like I am bringing up Galarian Farfetch. So that is very interesting. And I do get the Drizzile off the top deck. So I avoided the Drizzile, sadly. So I will evolve straight into Galarian Surfetch. I'll attach an energy. And I will be doing 80 damage to this uh, Bliss. So that is very awesome. So let's see what I can do with this game. See if I can turn it around. Jonas does top deck a cast form. That's going around on his bench. He's touching another water energy to his Blissey and he's getting an Italian out. Jonas's start was amazing in this game. Let's see if I can recover from this. He does have, looks to be like four energy attached, which means he is doing 130 damage. Turn two, so that is kind of insane. Either turn two or turn three. I'm not 100% sure, I think it's turn three. So, uh, four energy, that is a crazy amount. Uh, looks like I just bring up Tapu Fini to stall it out. See what I can do with this. Sobble off the top deck. Attaching to the, uh, I'm not sure what that is, Duck Trio, I do believe. But in order for me to knock his pussy out, I need to get all three heads. So I don't think I'd be able to pull that off. Looks like I am bringing, I'm not sure what Jonas is saying right now. Right, 20 damage to the Sobble. Let's see what I can get off of this. Attaching to the Doug Trio. Jonas does only have one prize left, so if I don't roll three heads right now, I will lose the game. And looks to be like heads, heads, and the other one rolled off. Oh, I guess it was triple heads. Oh, right, because Jonas did have damage on him before. I forgot. So that is knockout. And Jonas is bringing up... I think he just wins because all he has to do is use his ability and hit me with 70 damage, and that is game. So let's see what he does with this. I do think that I lost, though. Depends on what he does. He does Poke Kid looking for a Drizzile, I do believe, because that's the only reasonable choice for him right now so Drizzile is right there on top of the deck I think he might just go and search at that yep and he does so let's see what he does with this turn he has one card in his hand which is Cybold let's see he just passed the turn I need to get another triple heads right now in order for me to win this game I attach or turn it looks like I do Karina's focus I get the Blaziken, mine's well laid on the bench. And can I get the triple heads? So close! Heads, heads, and tails. That is game, I think. Yeah, Jonas gets the water energy off the top deck. And that, and he even has time. So that is it for me. That is it for game two. GG's go to Jonas. And uh, we're just coming up right now. And then there we go. That's it for game two. Uh, congratulations, you made it to game two. Now it's on to game three. Uh, okay, hello everyone. Welcome to game three. And uh, in this game three, it's going to be very interesting because it is game three, which means there is one, one, oh. So uh, that is very cool. Well, one win for me, one win for Jonas, and let's see who can pull off the game. And uh, I do think I'm starting with Diglets. Oh, no, I don't know, I didn't see it. So let's see what we can get. I do think it is Diglett. Diglett and Sobble. Okay, let's see where this game can take us. Um, looks like I'm going first, so I will lay down Sobble and another Diglett. 
and uh, I attached a, attached a fighting energy to Dickla and just to pass the turn. It uh, looks like Jonas lays down Glimwood Tangle, attaches the water. And looks like he does use level ball, searching for cast form. He also uses Karina's focus, getting him some fresh new cards. Looks like he does lay down two other cast forms. And he has another professor research in his hand, which he can use next turn. So he does he lays down Sobble. Let's see what he can do with this. I evolve into Doug Trio. Right, because that attack was uh, that right there. The Sobble was from Jonas's uh, Sobble attack. I do have Sonia in my hand or Karina's Focus. So if I use the Karina's Focus, I can try to get an energy, but I, or I can guarantee it with uh, Sonia. Oh, and I do get the energy, the third card actually. So I think I benefited from the Karina's Focus rather than the other thing. Oh, and two heads, that is a knockout on the Sobble. I'm taking my first prize card, turn two. So that is really awesome. Jonas gets the, I don't know if that's a Drizzile off the top deck, not 100% sure, might be. No, he just uses uh, research, so I don't think it was a Drizzile. If it wasn't, if it was, then he has another one this turn, I do believe. That, I don't know if that is a Drizzile. Looks like a Drizzile. Yep, it is. So he evolves into Drizzile. Let's see what I can do with this. So I do get an Inteleon. Attaches the fire energy to Inteleon. I lay down another Sobble, and I will use my attack once again. Ah, oh, one heads. I keep forgetting there's Glimwood Tangle because I could have easily double flipped and tried to get another attack off. So that sucks. Jonas does get Blissey off the top deck. That is pretty insane. Will he attach to Blissey though? He does attach to Blissey. So let's see what he does with this. He also has a Karina's Focus and a Brawly, I think, in his hand. Or is that Cybold? Oh, he uses the Karina's Focus, so that is all right. So he does evolve into Inteleon, which does mean he is left at... I'm not sure, 80? 80 HP? Nope, nope. I don't know what that was. That was weird. Yes, I don't know. He has 80 damage onto him. So let's see what I can do this next turn. Looks like I did end up using the Sonya. So uh, that was pretty interesting. Getting myself two fresh energies. So let's see what I can do with this. So it looks like I will attach the fighting energy to uh, Inteleon and then another attack and one heads again, but I keep forgetting about the Glimwood Tangle. I could have easily gotten knockouts right now if I had not forgotten about Glimwood Tangle. So I'm kind of sucking right now, but it was a knockout anyway, so that is fine. So Jonas does decide to bring out Cast Form. Let's see what he can do with this. He does get the Rapid Strike Energy off the top deck. That won't benefit him, benefit him at all. Um, besides on a Sobble, but I'm not really sure what he can do with this. So he decides to take out, take back the Rapid Strike Energy and attach a Water Energy to Blissey instead. But let's see what he does with this. It looks like I did get an Agatha off the top deck. I actually don't think I use Agatha in any of my games, so I probably could have easily replaced Agatha with something else. So uh, let's see what I do. Yes, I, I think I just end up attacking. And looks to be like... Right, I forgot. At this point, the other dice rolled across the floor. So uh, I do remember though, it was a six. Yeah. And I'll just roll again. It doesn't even matter if I roll again because there is Glimwood Tangle out. And two heads, that is knockout. So that is perfect. Jonas does bling up Blissey, and if I get another two heads with my next attack, I do take the game, so that is good. But I do think that he knocks me out with this attack, so that kind of sucks. 
let's see what I can do with this. I do bring up Inteleon, I think, or I, I think I'm just thinking right now. Yeah, he has a lot of energy piled up onto that Blissey. He does actually forget to take a prize card again. He needs to take more prize cards. So it looks like I do end up attaching to uh, Diglett that fire energy, and there goes another 70 damage onto Blissey. Oh no, I used my ability. No, I didn't actually use my ability. Oh. Oh, Jonas evolves into Inteleon. He puts that helmet card onto Blissey. Looks like he attaches Rapid Strike Energy to the Inteleon. And he just knocks out my Inteleon. So that sucks. Can I get a good card off my top deck? Flannery getting rid of that special energy. Once again, I don't know if Flannery gets rid of tools or special energy. I feel like it's tools, but it might just might as well be special energy. So it looks like I will be flipping a coin for Dig, which makes me prevent all damage. And I do get heads, which means I'll be doing 20 damage to Jonas. And uh, I prevent all damage. So that is awesome. Jonas attaches a fire energy to his Blissey. But luckily, Blissey isn't doing damage to me this turn, and he doesn't have any Gust cards, so that is very useful for me. Right now, I'm safe in the active for another turn. I'm really hoping for another Doug Trio. These Doug Trios are really good for me in this game. Looks like Jonas will actually decide to retreat into Inteleon, which actually can't attack. Oh no, he goes into cast form. Oh, it looks like he changes his mind. All cast forms actually have free retreat, so that is kind of insane. Let's see what I can get off of this. I evolve into Drizzile. And let's see what I do. I attach fighting onto Diglett. And looks like I just dig again. And I prevent all damage again. So that's very awesome with the heads on the coin flip. Looks like Jonas uses Cyabold healing all that damage, all that 10 damage. So let's see what I can get off this top deck. And it is Doug Trio. Can I get the triple heads off this coin flip right now? I'm just grabbing off those three dice. And is it triple heads? I know. And it is. It is triple heads. So uh, that is it. I take game three with that amazing triple heads on the duck trio. I'm preventing damage next turn. And I'm doing 180 damage. That is insane. GG's to Jonas. GG's to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was extremely close. I thought I was going to lose all Good three game, of my games. That was, I, I just got the three heads on the Doug Trio, and that was, oh, I'm so lucky. Good and I Jonas even had Glimwood Tangle out, so if I didn't get the three heads, I could have tried again. So uh, we don't know how that would gone, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm so happy I came out with the win. Good game. That was a really close one. I would have won. I would have won next turn if you didn't get the triple heads two times. Yeah. I would have won, because I had my Inteleon, which knocked out a Sobble. Yeah. And then I would bring, then I would have an energy, yeah. hopefully. And then I'd retreat, yeah. bring up Blissey, yeah. and win the game. Win the game, yeah. So that was extremely I close. I came out though and I won, so that's really awesome. But um, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Ring the bell. <laughs> also make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at jail underscore pkmn. And uh, make sure to follow that so you can behind the scenes stuff and just stuff we're doing. So very awesome. And that's it for this video. Make sure to check out Cards of the Week and all those kinds of cool videos. And we will catch you guys in the next one, which will not be Chilling Rain because Chilling Rain is not actually out yet. So this is just a pre-release. We will catch you guys in the next one. See, See you later. later.